Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Text Chainsaw Massacre, the game video. Last time we talked, we confirmed that Suma Nottingham, the developers of the Text Chainsaw Massacre, were in the near future leaving the game and moving on to future projects. When this was announced, there was no further details on who the new development team was that was taking over. A lot of the community was very nervous. It felt very similar to what happened with Friday the 13th, the game, and people were worried that the game was dead for good. Good news, that's not the case. The game is still making new content, and the new developers were confirmed today as Black Tower Studios. Longtime fans of Friday the 13th, the game probably recognize that name. Black Tower Studios was responsible for taking over development of F-13 when Ilphonic left and moved on to future projects. Black Tower was responsible for maps like Pinehurst and Jarvis House, which although those maps aren't played a ton because they're so big and they're difficult, they are gorgeous maps and they absolutely nailed the authenticity of those maps, but they just never got small versions, so they never got played that much. Black Tower was also responsible for making the Grendel map, although it was never released. That map looked amazing from what we saw even when in development, but again, that never got released least, but Black Tower was working on that too. And the good news is Black Tower is not brand new to TCM. They've actually have spent the last month working with Sumo to prepare for this transition. Over the course of the past month, Black Tower Studios has been working alongside Sumo to prepare their transition to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Gun Interactive and Black Tower Studios have had previous history with co-development where collaboration and transparency are key pillars for both studios. Black Tower Studios is an amazing group of developers that have also worked on titles such as Predator Hunting Grounds, Ghostbuster, Spirits Unleashed, and Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. When it comes to content and making future characters and maps, I'm not worried in the slightest when it comes to Black Tower. I think they're a very talented team and they've already proven themselves that they can handle things like that. I absolutely love Jarvis House, absolutely love Pinehurst. I loved where Grendel was going, right? So they showed they have the chops to do this and make some incredible maps and they'll be able to do characters alongside that. So I'm not worried about content at all when it comes to Black Tower. My biggest concern is that the game won't be in the best position when making the transition. If there are still a bunch of bugs and that Black Tower has to get in there and debug, that could be an issue. And for how long it would take for them to fix that is where I would be concerned, right? I mean, they had the same issue with F13. They jumped into Elphonic's code, which at the time, little messy okay Elphonic was very new at the time and they were taking that over and trying to debug things that were really just had a lot of band-aids over them so that would be my biggest concern if they're trying to debug sumo's code that could be difficult to go into someone's code and try to make that happen but uh overall i mean i i think this is a good change i think this is a good change black tower overall a smaller team than sumo nottingham yes but they will be able to apply more of their employees to the game than sumo was able to do Sumo is working on multiple games at any given time. They're a big company, Sumo Digital that is, Nottingham's pretty small, but they're working all over the place. They got a lot of things going on. Black Tower, not so much. They can focus a lot more of their employees and staff on the Text Chainsaw Massacre and content. It could actually lead to content releasing at a faster pace. And it's also important to note that Black Tower is not alone. They said a number of other partners will be joining forces with guns, such as Art Blue Productions for future cosmetics for all characters, Testronic Labs on QA testing, Saturday Morning Serial for all game trailers and assisting in in-game cinematics, and Odd Gentleman, the studio behind Museum Mode, as well as possible future modes. Now, I think it's important to spotlight that because Gun is not slowing down here. Yeah, Sumo, they're stepping away, they're working on new projects, a new team's coming in, great. But even Wes said today on his Twitter, they're already planning content out through December of 2024, and Black Tower's not alone. Art Bully is on the game. That's huge, trust me, that's huge. Odd Gentleman, making museum mode and possibly even more modes in the future, that's big as well. So I'm not worried about the future of this game. Now, it's still not crystal clear when this transition is happening. You know, is it gonna be next update? Will it officially be full on Black Tower? How long will Sumo and Black Tower be working together to make this transition happen? Who knows? But once we get past that point, once the transition phase is over, Black Tower is fully on board, they're comfortable, they understand the code they're working with, and they can just focus on content. I think this game has a very bright future. There is a ton of stuff that can still be put in this game. We haven't even touched, we're at the tip of the iceberg right now. There's so much potentially here, so much licensed content that can make it to the game. I, there's no point in us sitting here and saying, hey, I'm done. I'm uninstalling it. Sumo's gone. I'm gone too. It's not that It's not that simple, right? I have faith in Black Tower and I have faith in the future of this game. And until they prove otherwise, I'm going to stay positive. That's all I'm going to try to do. I just want to play the game I love. Just want to play the game I love and want to see more content. 
that's all I'm asking for. So I'm going to stay positive until they prove otherwise. And that's uh, that seems like the fair and right thing to do. But hey, maybe you're already out. Maybe it's too little too late. And that is totally up to you. But let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. That's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.